Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are diving into an exciting and emerging field, quantum machine learning. Before we jump into the code, let's quickly understand quantum computing. Quantum computers are based on the principles of quantum mechanics, which is fundamentally different from classical computing. Instead of bits, quantum computers use qubits. A qubit can represent both 0 and 1 simultaneously due to the concept of superposition and qubits can also be entangled, allowing them to share states. These principles enable quantum computers to solve certain problems exponentially faster than classical computers. Quantum computing has the potential to revolutionize many industries, but it's still in its infancy. As we are working on quantum machine learning today, we'll leverage quantum computers to enhance traditional machine learning algorithms. Difference between traditional computers and quantum computers Traditional computers use bits as the basic unit of information, where each bit is either a zero or a one. These machines follow deterministic processes, executing instructions sequentially or in parallel, which makes them highly efficient for everyday tasks like word processing, browsing, and even complex computations. However, they struggle with certain problems that require vast computational resources, such as factoring large numbers or simulating quantum systems, which could take impractical amounts of time to solve. Quantum computers, on the other hand, use qubits that can exist in a state of 0, 1, or both simultaneously due to superposition, and can also become entangled with each other, creating correlations that classical bits cannot achieve. This allows quantum computers to process multiple possibilities at once, making them exponentially faster for specific problems like cryptography, optimization, and quantum simulations. However, quantum computers are still in the early stages of development and face challenges like qubit instability and high error rates, limiting their practical application for now. What is quantum machine learning? Quantum machine learning, QML, combines the concepts of quantum computing with machine learning. The idea is to use quantum algorithms to enhance classical machine learning tasks, such as classification, clustering, and regression. Today, we'll focus on using quantum kernels for support vector classification. However, QML still faces challenges, such as hardware limitations, noise, and the need for robust algorithms that can handle practical data. While it's a promising field, most current work is in the research stage, and we are still some way from fully integrating quantum machine learning into mainstream applications. Now, let's get into the code. We'll be using Qiskit, a powerful quantum computing framework developed by IBM to build a support vector classifier for diabetes prediction. Make sure the diabetes dataset is uploaded. Under Runtime, select Change Runtime Type. Then select Connect a Hosted Runtime, TPU on the right-hand side. First, we need to install Qiskit and the necessary libraries for machine learning. Qiskit provides tools for working with quantum circuits and simulations, and Qiskit machine learning allows us to integrate quantum algorithms into classical ML tasks. Next, we import the required libraries. NumPy and Pandas are used for data handling, Matplotlib for visualization, and Scikit-learn for data preprocessing, dimensionality reduction, and model evaluation. We also import Qiskit components such as AIR, Z feature map. QSBC and Fidelity Quantum Kernel for our quantum machine learning model. We load the diabetes dataset using pandas and display the first five rows. The dataset contains medical data, such as glucose levels, insulin, BMI, and more, along with the target column outcome, which indicates whether the patient has diabetes. Now we visualize statistical information pertaining to the data using describe function. We separate the features, X, and labels, Y. To ensure that all features are on the same scale, we apply standard scalar from scikit-learn to normalize the data. Next, we use principal component analysis, PCA, to reduce the dimensionality of the feature set from 8 to 4. PCA helps us compress the data while retaining the most important information. This is particularly useful in quantum computing, where processing a large number of features can be challenging due to hardware constraints. We then split the data into training and testing sets with 10% of the data reserved for testing. This allows us to evaluate the model's performance on unseen data. We define a quantum feature map, Z feature map, which encodes the data into a quantum state. This feature map entangles the qubits, helping the quantum computer capture complex patterns. We then use Fidelity Quantum Kernel, which measures the similarity between quantum states and forms the core of our quantum support vector classifier. We initialize the QSVC model and pass our quantum kernel to it. 
Then, we train the model using the training data. We use the test data to make predictions and calculate the accuracy and classification report. In our case, the accuracy is around 65%, which could be improved with more sophisticated quantum circuits or larger datasets. Finally, we create a function to predict whether a new patient has diabetes based on their medical data. This function normalizes and transforms the input data and uses the trained QSVC model to make predictions. In this case, the prediction for our example patient is positive, indicating the presence of diabetes. Before we wrap up, let's talk about some of the challenges we face with quantum machine learning. Quantum computers are still in their early stages, and issues like noise, qubit coherence, and scalability are real obstacles. Moreover, current quantum hardware is limited, so running complex machine learning models on them is challenging. However, the future of quantum machine learning looks promising. As hardware improves and quantum algorithms become more refined, we expect to see significant advancements, especially in fields like drug discovery, optimization, and cryptography. How good can be quantum computers in future? In future, a quantum computer may be capable of simulating a virtual universe inside it and apply countless combinations to solve problems such as cancer, pandemic, hacking complex networks and firewalls, or maybe time travel. And it can do all of them in matter of minutes or less. That's all for today's video. If you found this tutorial on quantum machine learning helpful, you may buy me a coffee or make a donation through UPI. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more quantum computing content. Thanks for watching.